Verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Uh huh. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? Mm. God forbid. God forbid. There it is again. Amen. Watch now. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey? If you yield yourself to sin, you are a sinner. Um, yes. If you yield yourself to the righteous standards of God, you are saved. Yeah. There's no ifs or in between. There's no neutral ground. You either saved or you're not saved. You either pregnant or you're not pregnant. That's right, That's right. Amen. 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 Verse 17. Verse 17. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. But ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. All right, now here. We're getting into mm -hmm. obedience. Right. Obedience to the word of God through a behavior changes your character and eliminates sin. Okay. Yes. You don't have sin. When you destroy sin by your character behavior. In other words, if I'm not sinning, I'm not a sinner. Right. Amen. If I'm living right, I'm righteous. Amen. It's plain as ABC. But it's up to the individual to make the choice. Amen. It's not difficult to quit smoking. Amen. Praise God. They tell you on the back of the cigarette pack. It causes cancer. Amen. It's not healthy. It has no medicinal purpose. It's a habit. But what do I need with a habit that's killing me? Preach, prophet. Bring it out, prophet. Am I, am I, uh, do I have a mental problem? Bring it out. Praise God. What do I need to puff a cigarette and bring smoke, nicotine down into my lungs that eventually will cause me to have uh, diabetes, bad heart, Amen. cancer, and mm -hmm. who knows what else? Yes. So therefore, I don't need anything like that because I'm not that weak. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Cigarette smoking is the easiest habit in the world. I, I was watching the news and they said, well, they got a new cure for cigarettes. Yeah. They got a pill out now that, my goodness, it'll stop you from smoking in 30 days. I stopped in one minute. Amen. Yeah. When I got saved. I put that cigar out, cigar out in, my, in, in, my, in, my, in my car ashtray and ain't touched it since. Amen. 1972, I believe it was. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And never thought about it. Yeah. Uh, hard? Uh -uh. What's hard about it? <laughs> Praise God. Thanks, thanks. Amen. You do what you want to do yes. when you develop yes. a character. Now, I'm talking about a character. Amen. It's the same thing with homosexuality or lesbianism. You have developed a character that is not wholesome to the individual. If God made you a man, act like a man. Amen. Hallelujah. God made you a woman, act yes. like a woman. Hallelujah. Because that's what you are. Amen. If you don't ever go to church, that still ain't going to change you from being a man yes. or being a woman. Praise God. So, again, we're talking about the ordinance of God and how sin has no dominion over the individual once that individual has committed a life to God. Here's where I'm going with this. The Lutheran Church. One of the largest churches, organizational churches in the world, have passed a law that ordained pastors can be homosexuals or lesbians. But what about the Word of God? Amen. It says, doing that which is against nature. He gave them over to a reprobate mind, to a sinful life. Amen. And the Bible says there's no more forgiveness <clears throat> when you commit a willful sin, when you violate. A statute that God has placed in the Bible, you got to hurry up and repent. Amen. Now, if you repent, God forgives you. Amen. I don't care what you've done. If you repent, but repentance is not words. Amen. Repentance yeah. is behavior. Yeah. There's got to be an action that changes again the character. Amen. And when the character is changed, sin is gone. Yes. Yes. Amen. But you have to. 
have the discipline within yourself Amen. to want to be changed. Yes. Now, again, I don't know how. Or what change? Why I have to change? Well, that's what the Bible is for. Mm -hmm. The Bible is the guidance that God gives to all humanity. And you know how clever God is? He based it on faith. Yes. Yes. You don't have to believe it if you don't want to. Yes. Oh. Hallelujah. Right. Romans the 10th chapter, right quick. Uh, jump right into verse, one verse, uh, verse 16. But they have not all obeyed. The now the preacher here says, but they have not, speaking to the world, they have not all obeyed what? The gospel. Uh -huh. For Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? The prophet said, Lord, who has believed yes. our message? And we know just a select few. Straight is the gate and narrow the way that leadeth to life. And few there be that can find it. So again, church, whenever we want to follow after righteousness, it's up to the individual. Now let's turn to Revelation 20 chapter. We're going to wind this down and get to our question and answers. Revelation 20 chapter. Jump right in verse 11. I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. I saw the dead small and great stand before God. Now this is a judgment. And the books were opened and another book was opened, which is the book of life. Yes. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their yes. works. Yes. The false church tell you it's not by works, which means you can live like the devil and you still say what you to repeat in Romans 10 and 10. That is a lie and it's not scriptural. Amen. Unless you take the Bible without, without proper context and not use line upon line and precept on precept. Anytime you go to a church that takes away personal responsibility, leave away from that church. Yes, amen. Now, this is why we don't have... Uh, 5,000 members. Amen. I'm trying to teach you how to go from earth to glory. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm not just trying to teach you something that makes you feel good. Amen. I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open. Now again, uh, when you are born again, God refers to a book of your character. Yes. After uh, uh, When you are born. Now when you are born, the second time, of the water and spirit this makes you now a new creation in Christ Jesus what you've done in the past is gone old things have passed away behold all things become new all right now watch another book was opened which was the book of life now the book of life is when you are born again you automatically go into the book of life and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book of life according to their lifestyle, their works, their lifestyle. Now, if it was not important that your works reflect your character, why would this be recorded in the Bible? Amen. And the sea gave up the dead. Which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. How many men? Every. Every man. Yes. Not some men. Amen. Every man according to his works. Uh huh. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Second death. Uh huh. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast Hallelujah. into the lake of fire. Now let's turn over to uh, Revelation, the 22nd chapter. Yes. Uh, pick right up in verse. 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life uh -oh. and out of the holy city. Oh, oh, you stop right there. Amen. Amen. If any man takes away from the prophecy of this book 
or the instructions of this book yeah. or the teaching